This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Even after six months in cold... Re we can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you need. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. And now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please? Hold this in place. Be careful. Oil comes stable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the Perfect. energy and whale well, plug it in. arise with need to maintain life. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more.
River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible. Ah, to the point. We need a man. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in the last with no happy small days. amount of complaining. But you might not remember. I was once a close ally. I know what it's like. Some nerves I have. Back when he was just the spy master. Wallace, he's one man. Please freeze master. two bottles of Dunwall Red. Never mind which. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things. 
How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. Corvo. Hello. 
I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I'd recommend going with the best view. Ready to go? Just give the signal. go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that granny rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. One, two, three, heave! Half the block dead from the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. They are burning away us. The, the doom, doom of Pandesia has come, come to the city. I'm coming.
Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. Never listen. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones them and they're not very polite ones either granny rags granny rags let us in ah oh, well they'll go away again if they know what's good for them but what a bother here's the key to the front door love you'll see to those ruffians won't you i told you the knives go on the left they go you never blind. Listen. I'm deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's... What was that? Someone's about to get shaped. Oh, I'll find you. Hey, dead body. I know you're here. Where are you? Where'd you run off to? I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? 
Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Attention Dunwall citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded Is Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Ugh. 
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual invasion. They have been introduced on purpose, perhaps by a foreign power. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. 